Sway in the Morning, Shade 405, Heather B. This is, this is why we started doing this show six years ago. Talk about it. We want to open up the world to all sorts of sonic sounds and creativity from different artists from all over the place. People who stepped on the scene and created a whole new canvas of their own. You know, and all of our guests have done that in their own way. We got, man, we got a, 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 a guy I, I consider a, a legend here. You know, and uh, for some of the work he's done with a lot of folks from, you know, from my good friend Common to 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 you, God, to, mm. I mean, Raphael Sadiq. I mean, he is an architect of a particular sound mm. that has resonated in our playlist for <laughs> over a decade easily, now. Easily. You know, he is the pride of a city that often doesn't get the representation it deserves, Preach. especially when it comes to the media. All they talk about is what's negative when all the time they have a beacon of light. <laughs> wow. Beacon. What the, all this time, the one and only Twilight Tone is here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, man. You. Oh, I'm great, man. I feel really good. This is only Pardon the me. pun. I feel good. You feel good. Yes, sir. I get it. I get it. I yes, get sir. it. There's other gentlemen here, Heather. I don't know if you want to do the introduction. He may not even realize how much impact and influence he's had on my career, on who I am as an individual as I stepped into the scene, being from Oakland, California, looking for somebody whose voice represented our voice. Mm -hmm. You know, we were always marginalized in Oakland. People thought we only talked about one thing. They always thought we created in one way, that we only had one sound that we didn't confront issues. We didn't have introspective perspectives on on world, on a life, on our neighborhood, on our school, on, a, on our friends, on our family. They thought we looked different when I had locks coming out of my hair right. and I wore baggy clothes and the colors didn't match mm -hmm. until this wonderful, magnificent movement happened. And at the helm of that was a group called De La Soul. Mm -hmm. And we have pasta noses here. Hey, 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 oh. hey, hey. Good morning, everybody. Boy, got Good talent. Good morning. talent. And then, finally, the reason why they're all together, the only reason why I could get these two guys on my show that I've known for years <laughs> is a person that I've only recently met 24 hours ago. Yep. You Yesterday. know? And, and, and when I first heard about him, I want to say in the late, nine, late 90s is when I really first heard about him. Um, and not because of the projects he's doing now, it's because of, of a group that he was with that was introduced to me by a good friend of mine that I grew up with in the Bay Area and came up on the music scene when I was a young, aspiring artist that took me and my partner, King Tech, in his bedroom in San Francisco and had me reference vocals for different artists like Debbie Deb, mm -hmm. you know, weekends, you know, funky music, you know, and writing all these different songs so I could get on to produce a track for me and my partner, King Tech. And he told me about this magnificent project that he was working with. And the way he explained it there then was it's this virtual group. And we didn't even know what virtual meant <laughs> back then that's coming together that I'm going to help work with. He actually told me he was a member of the group. And uh, there's these guys from across the pond that's got a really great sound. And they're doing something really interesting. And they're also going to team up with one of your hometown heroes, Delta Funky Homo Sapien. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Where my story with him begins with um, being on the radio at KML in San Francisco, discovered Dell and the Souls of Mischief and Hieroglyphics because um, Opio's stepfather, Michael Ashburn, was my first attorney who did legal work for me for free and taught me about yeah, we publishing. Got, we got really well, you know, pro bono. Detailed here. Yeah. Well, because I want to tell you the tie. And I've always been fascinated when he told me about the group and the movement, the gorillas and how they kind of fuse and bended mm. genres and blended sounds and and just did something that was extremely unique back then. Mm. And now they're back with their fifth album, Humans, and everybody is all excited about it. And we have one of them here with us today, the one and only Damon Alburn. Yes, 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 yes. Give us free, give us free. Totally thrilled to have you on this show, man. Thank you. Really enjoyed the music you've made over the years. Thanks. And, and then your, you making your music available for so many different types of artists mm. and how they've all blended. Because you can do that and it cannot work a lot of times. Yeah. But you've been able to do it. Well, I can only do it if I'm working with 
like the right people. Uh-huh. And uh, on this occasion, I did this Skype call. When was it? Like last January? January. Yeah, January. With, 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 with my good friend Remy Kabaka. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, y- you were on the other end of the Skype, and you were actually wearing the same hat. And had a I slightly ne- bigger beard. I was naked, beard. but I had this hat on. Yeah, but yeah, naked, bigger okay. beard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 And uh, we got on from that. I mean, it's hard to know if you're going to get on with someone, but I think we... Yeah, once I put my clothes yeah, on. Yeah, and then he came over and, yeah. and, and, and uh, he didn't leave for a, a whole year, yeah. really. You became <laughs> you became thoroughly anglicized, actually. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah, exactly. I couldn't they stop really drinking did. tea. Yeah, so y'all lived together for a minute? No. No, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just well, in the studio. That, that, it, we did actually live together uh, for a little while in Jamaica. In Jamaica? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. I wasn't invited. It, it was yes, good. Sir. They just wanted your vocals, dog. There you go. It's all about the vocals. <laughs> hey, man, where did you grow up, man? I grew up in uh, East London, Leytonstone, mm-hmm. and then when I was 10, I moved to Essex, mm-hmm. which uh, is the kind of the, the county above London. Mm-hmm. I told a story how Pastor Noose and his group and that movement really helped, um, in my own mind, validate the things I was trying to do at that time. Who were those? Oh, oh definitely. For me, it was the for same you? thing. For you, same yeah. thing. Yeah, I had, to, I had, to, I had two really intense uh, experiences. Actually, one, the the most intense one was when I first came to uh, New York. I had to go and do a radio show in the Bronx, uh-huh. and I had had a really late night. Uh, I think. Tequila was involved. Okay, uh, that happens. And the r- radio rep <laughs> came uh, to pick me up, and I was just in such a state that I opted to uh, go into the boot of his car. So he put me in the boot to drive me all the way up to the Bronx, and he played Tribe Called Quest and De La Soul, and uh, <coughs> that was my introduction to hip hop. Did, did you did what did you think of that in the stuff? Of a car. Being from overseas, well, it, it, it's, I, I, it's still relatable. Right? I've been a, I've been aware of De La Soul prior to that, but uh-huh. but being in that boot of that car, feeling the way I did, driving across Manhattan, would sort of I connected with it. Boot, um, guys. Boot, sorry, boot, boot. Oh, 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 I thought I was using an Americanism. The trunk. The trunk. You were in the, the trunk, trunk of the car. The trunk of the car. Why y'all act like he? You knew what he was saying. Oh, oh you knew what he was saying. I've been going. You know, he's I've been traveling overseas since '88. Yeah. Damn, we just thank you. I was waiting for the stunt. <laughs> I, was, I was dying wow. for the stunt. <laughs> okay, and there you go. Yeah. The trunk. I can't in say the that. trunk. In, in the trunk of the yeah. car. Um, I got truncated. Hey. Got truncated. Hey. <laughs> I like. Damn, it's all right. You got lyrics, you got man. Lyrics. You got bars. bars. You got bars. Uh, got a few. Um, when did you guys be a, become aware of him and this movement, the Gorillas, or even prior to that? For me personally, uh. The first album, you know, of course, as you're saying, you know, Dell is family. Yeah. Um, Dan, known him as well. So just hearing it he, and and seeing this group and seeing a video, like wow, like okay, I hear Dell's voice and I see this this cartoon and I was like, yo, you know, mm-hmm. Dela, we've always been into like uh, anything that feels different but feels authentic. Mm-hmm. And um, I would just uh, immediately, we immediately as a group gravitated to what they were doing then. So yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, of course, obviously, I've I've known this gentleman Damon from his group, the Blur. Of yeah, course. the Blur. The Blur, yeah. of course. But um, yeah, the Gorillas. Uh, that first album was really amazing. You guys worked together prior to this too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah Two thousand and four was <clears throat> when we first. Yeah, that's when you first looked at. Now, what 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 was it about this guy that appealed to you? Well, Other than the beard. <clears throat> well, I wanted with this record, I wanted to do something different again. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted. To have a sense of, uh, I've, you can hear my sibilance really. I'm sorry, I've got this kind of. St- what is that? It's just partly because it's I, I lost my tooth years ago. Okay. And I just. Is that what the brown thing is? I can is? just really hear. No, it. Can, you turn, <laughs> can you turn down my sibilance a bit? Okay, okay there you go. <laughs> too, loud, too loud for you. <laughs> All right. I just think people on the other side are listening to the radio. And like, uh, so you what, got a great what, radio verse, voice, by the way, yeah. man. Like you got yeah. the kind of voice that, like I say this often, man. I would have loved for you to read me bedtime stories <laughs> as a child. Like, man, I, somebody else recently came in here and I said, "You got that kind of voice." Oh, to it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, you know. Okay, Barry White. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how, do, right. how do egos um, play out in all of this? With everyone being so accomplished in their own right, how do you decide what's this, what's wow. that? Wow. 
Um, I mean, I mean, it, it's bigger than the ego because it's about the goals mm-hmm. or the mm-hmm. uh, worthy idea you're actively uh, creating. So, meaning, like, this is the destination. It's not about who's right. It's about what works. Mm-hmm. Who tells? Who's the one person? I basically you? tell everybody. What to do. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm quiet and I'm, I'm I'm black and you know I got on this jacket, but so I tell them what to do. Again. If you want the kids to like you, just sing it like this, motherfucker. Right, 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 right. <laughs> the, the concept behind this album was uh, really interesting. As I was reading, I saw some of the commentary Pusha T made, and, and and you instructed them to way before our president became president. To, yeah. Well, what uh, was that about? Okay. Like, okay. okay. Well, when we started in January. Tone came over, and you know we had to establish some kind of uh, ground rules for what we were mm-hmm. going to do with this right. record. Mm-hmm. We, we, w- the first thing we agreed on was pain, joy, urgency. Mm-hmm. That, that yeah. was something that we ha- had to put into everything we worked on. That was the mantra of the record. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then it was like I wanted it to be set in the near future, and uh, I was pretty fascinated with the whole Trump thing. Uh-huh. At that point, I'd been in America a few months earlier and uh, I'd seen a lot of stuff and I was reading about it, a lot of it. And I just sort of thought, well, let's just let, let's use that as a kind of dark fantasy for this record. Let's imagine <laughs> the night that Donald Trump. It was Trump, January. Yeah. Uh, January Donald, early last year. Imagine before, the night that 2016. Donald, 2016. Donald Trump. So it was far fetched yeah. and, and fictitious that wins he would, the election and how we all going to feel that night. And that was kind of a simple, kind of, you know, that was the, that was the carrot. Yeah. And so <laughs> for everyone who worked on it, though, that's that, that's a conversation we had. It wasn't any more explicit than that. And sometimes, you know, uh, Pusher interpreted that and actually became quite literal about that. And, uh-huh. and 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 so when we got it back, it was like, well, love this, and this is exactly what we're, where we're going. But we can't use those names. These, I mean, these we, words, because if we use these words, it's gonna. Uh, politicized yeah mm-hmm. and it's going to date the music mm-hmm. obama orlando but it's that Trump, feeling you know? it's that feeling we, yeah. we wanted this record <clears throat> to have the feeling of now somehow mm-hmm. indeed it's the record's created i mean obviously if hillary had won we would be having a different conversation now. yeah right yeah, yeah. we would, it would. I, like, it, but it would have just remained a dark fantasy yeah mm-hmm. yeah and so you, you guys know. kind of willed this to happen. Well, we did have we did have moments, didn't we? <laughs> don't, don't say that, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you willed <laughs> Donald Trump into office. I actually right. have. Well, yeah, I feel to guilty. To make this project work, I, go. I thought Warner made some calls for on our behalf uh-huh. <laughs> as a marketing campaign for this album. But yeah, it did come into the physical, and it, it's quite scary. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. To see that something that was just a conversation for a fictional. Uh, creative direction to come in yeah but you know you, you say you're playing poker you know you make decisions don't you and you have to ro- roll with them gotta live with it he knows yeah, Damon know my <laughs> game they talk about my game cross the pond Heather oh, Damn, okay. he knows about it <laughs> but but you know it's been um <laughs> it's been seven years though man like the, the landscape of the music scene has really changed some folks say it's not for the better. I think it is. I see a lot of folks. It's exciting. Yeah, it, is, yeah. it is exciting. I say yeah. what, what, what's different and what's the best thing from when I started. When I started, it was very simple. Yeah. You, 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 you got your band together. You played around enough to for a record label to come and come and find you. Uh-huh. They'd find you. They, if you were lucky, they'd sign you. Then you go on tour again. Maybe you put a single out. Maybe you'd have enough of a fan base to get a little bit of a, a kind of sort of action on the charts. Uh-huh. Not a lot. Uh-huh. That that would then get you onto radio. Mm-hmm. And then you go on top of the pops. There was one TV program yeah. in Britain. Yeah. There was yeah. only one. So if you go on top of the pops, that meant your record would go up the you next week, it. and yeah. you kind of made it. Mm-hmm. That was it. There was nothing else. So now. It not not only is there everything else, uh-huh. but you can keep putting out music every week if uh-huh. you want to. If you've right. got if you've got that if you've got that enthusiasm and that creativity and that sense of, you know, this is what I'm. This is I want to express this now. You can do it, you know. And I love that. I love that la- that lack of you know. It's very sort of lacking in self consciousness now. It's, uh-huh. it's 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 going with it's, your impulse, your instincts. But but but, but, but <clears throat> there are also downsides of all of that, which is just. It's a, it's a stream of consciousness that doesn't necessarily have a beginning or end, and you know can you know there's a lot of bullshit out there basically, uh-huh. and also also tune, uh-huh. also tune is the big the the big thing, is where's that taking us? Uh-huh. 
Mm. When are we going to stop that? Are we going to stop that, or is that just the future? Is at some point everything is going to go through no this filter? No point in future. Yeah. <laughs> Which, was that past? No. No. No, yeah. no. no. But you know what? <laughs> you know what I mean. I mean, when we were in Jamaica yeah. this time, it was kind of shocking yeah. because all the music from the last time when I, I the first time I, I I recorded in Jamaica was was with Dan. Yeah, uh, in two thousand, and uh, you know it was still reggae. There was a lot of dancehall and everything, but it, there wasn't. The also, tune didn't exist. Mm -hmm. You could still hear the human voice. Yeah, this time everything's through Austin. Awesome. There's not one little corner of Jamaica, this island that's that's got this kind of sacred music mm -hmm. in its DNA. Mm -hmm. It's been obliterated mm -hmm. by by also tune. So you know, I know it's cool and it. But everyone sounds the same. Sounds the same. Everyone sounds, sounds the, the same. same. Can yeah. I say something? Because that was going to be my question about, um, you know, since since the last album or even pretty much everybody in this room knows how music has sort of, like you said, kind of just been filtered down into either EDM or pretty much like a trap hip hop sound. And, yeah. and everybody's blending together where you can't even tell them apart these days. Right, right. And so, I mean, you don't even hear rock music anymore. No, no, it's dead. You, you know, like, there's, there's no room for them anymore. So does that make yeah, why do you think I'm in make you individual? <laughs> Hence but is the gorillas? No, but does yeah. that make you guys at all more conscious and more aware of, okay, I don't want to sound like, if you have a record and it sounds like a good idea and once you start producing it, wait, that sounds a little bit too much like we're going down this Yeah, yeah, lane. Oh, no, we, I mean, you, you, you well, talk about well, this. Well, I didn't want to be, or we didn't want to be reactive. Yeah, I thought I, thought I was going to get my trap record, you know. Yeah, that's what uh, you were going for? Yeah, I mean, they heard, no, they heard Mercy and they was like, oh, yeah, they, he's the guy that did Mercy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, 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 I'm not... It was not about doing what I did, and it's not. About, I, to be honest with you, I wasn't familiar with the Gorillas. That's what, I that's knew what? about the brand, yeah, yeah, but I wasn't familiar with the Gorillas. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the impact of the Gorillas. Mm -hmm. I know Dell because I know him from Mr. Dabalina video and Opio yeah. and A plus. Yeah, okay. You know, I I know Paz because I remember him from the New Music Seminar in '89. Yeah. Plus, mm -hmm. he hasn't aged one day since he first came out. Yeah, in well, yeah, he's yeah, the okay. same same I dude. Do, yeah, he still <laughs> owe me money. So. <laughs> With the trap thing and with the so-called EDM, which are echoes of musics that I saw be born yeah, mm -hmm. in Chicago, it's no, it's no need to even, even look at that or respond to that. Now it is scary when that all when you turn the radio and that's all you hear and you're making yeah, something that's so obtuse. And also, to you that. you know, if you're making mm -hmm. something obtuse, you're gonna <clears throat> you're gonna have a hard job getting onto that mainstream radio. You mm -hmm. you you're you're kind of you know yes yeah, so which is you know this is a pleasant screwing yourself yeah, we're great already. grateful yeah. for being here in the yeah. face of all that mm -hmm. wow. we're grateful for being any radio <coughs> platform in the face of all that there's no knock to edm there's no knock to trap and also but we're doing the other also, thing we've all been around long enough to know that just because something sounds cool today does not mean it's going to sound exactly right. true. you ever try to heat up mcdonald's <laughs> Damn, Tom! No, I have dropped the gym right there. I've, why would you? EDM. So, we were talking about EDM, and um, I think the influence that the Gorillas has had on the scene. Yeah, but, like when you guys, you still use it. I'm sure the projection screens, like when you when you tour. So when that when that first came out, it was like a crazy idea yeah, yeah. that mm -hmm. why would somebody go to a concert to watch like an animated you know concert basically and now that's i feel that's what edm and has also, turned into also mm -hmm. i think i think i mean i might be wrong here but i think you know the concept of the the mass collaboration mm -hmm. was something i didn't think people were doing that when we started mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. now Not it's just all. standard mm -hmm. yeah that's you don't even you don't go anywhere unless you collaborate with someone not the cross pollinization of mm -hmm. genre so-called genres that uh, the gorillas have uh, established as a group and as a brand yeah mm -hmm. It, it, but some people use it as a crutch, you know. They of they, course they can't stand alone, so and they then, need to have the mm -hmm. mass collaboration. Of course, but no, I, yeah. honestly, I I was pushing. I, honestly, I wanted Damon to do everything because mm -hmm. my inspiration for this record was David Bowie and Luther Vandross. Mm -hmm. My inspiration for this record was uh, Robert Palmer. Mm -hmm. So his version, I didn't I I didn't mean to turn you on. I wanted to hear a Brit mm -hmm. over uh -huh. black music with black mm -hmm. people singing behind him because I felt like the time and place politically and socially call for that and that's why we come back to the mantra pain joy and urgency the music now is just focused on one thing immediate gratification mm -hmm. i didn't want to we didn't want to focus on joy because we wanted to have the pain not to, to allude to frankie beverly and maze mm -hmm. <laughs> and it needed to be urgent because wow look who's president now mm -hmm. wow 
Mm-hmm. What's happening? Wow, people are getting killed mm-hmm. by the police. Not that that's a new thing. That's not a new jack swing. That's always been going on. Mm-hmm. But now you have people catching it on the phones. Yeah, man, man Twilight. Yeah, Tom, we were, I, saw, I saw someone driving down Eighth Avenue yesterday who had a private number plate and it was a swastika, but like jumbled up. I mean, yeah. is that acceptable? No. How can you dri- in New York yeah, but, driving but, but, around but, yeah. with that? Yeah, but because of the the current climate know, here, but, it's, but seriously, it's that's more probable yeah. now. Yeah, exactly. well, well, clearly, because I saw it yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and that's what we're dealing with over here. What y'all dealing with over there, though? Well, it's the uh, same, same thing. thing. Same, same, everything. Same, yeah. It's all in the same game. Same thing, you know. And 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 we we, we I was just talking with Poss about mm-hmm. c- coming over here. It's it's the. It's the it seems to be the person that can make the most noise is the is 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 the one that gets through to the people who don't really pay attention, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they're they're unfortunately the the least educated um, in context of the, making these big decisions which involve us all, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, it, uh, we've got to make more noise. Gotta yeah, make more noise. We've we got to make more noise. Uh, we, gotta, yeah. we 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 got the power, and and and, and not necessarily through also tune. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Or, because or through looking through our phone. Yeah. Mind you, I quite like to hear Donald Trump through also tune. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's happened, I'm sure. It's a meme or something. You know, I want to play some music, and then I want to open up the phone lines <clears throat> for, our, for our listeners. We got Damon oh, Alburn. This live. Yeah, this is live, oh, brother. Okay. This is live. Yes. Twilight Tone. <laughs> Pasta <laughs> News. 888 There's a song called We Got the Power. <clears throat> what? Yes, okay. And, and I want to talk about that song. Um, I want to play it, and then let's talk about it uh, cool. coming out of it. And that's that's on the album as we well. The- Damn, yeah. shit, oh, shit. wait for the cue. Right. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> cue. We got the power to be loving each other, no matter what. Sway in the morning, man. <clears throat> we got the power. We we wanted to play that because you and I were talking about this song. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot uh, about Noel Gallagher uh, yeah. guesting on this, and I guess people are making this like a, a, a bigger side story because well, he's not. He's get, guesting. He's he's singing. He's kind of part of the choir on that one. You got yeah. Dram, myself, Noel, and Jenny Beth from the Savages. And Jenny's the only one that's really credited. Like, yeah. On the song, like well, but, be, because she's kind of got a verse. You mm-hmm. know. I mean, yeah. It's, it, for me, it would be like I was kind of. Like, you know, taking yeah. advantage of the name if I put it as a feature because it's not. It's he's just part of, not not just, but you know what I mean. I yeah, don't, I understand. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like you know, Kanye uses a bunch of people in choruses on his albums and everything like that. I, I, well, I get like Paul she, McCartney. Yeah, Paul McCartney. Exactly. Where was he? Yeah, exactly. it was. Well, <laughs> Um, I don't know. The name was there, but I didn't hear it. It was, it's myself. a part of creating an ensemble cast. <laughs> yeah. And going back to the days when you used to read record credits and be like, oh, my God, Eddie LaVert, Michael Jackson, Betty Wright sang the background to All I Do on Stevie Wonder's song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's mm-hmm. who that was? No yeah. wonder it sounded like that. Mm-hmm. So exactly. everything's Ameri- not about Young Americans. Be, be young cheap. Americans, is not, wasn't like featuring. It was no, just, it's like, you know, we, you know, because at the end of the day, it's the less you talk about yourself, the better. The yeah. the. The, the more impact it has. Everything so that's what have people to don't seem to understand. You yeah. see, we see, see, you dropping gems right now. You're shocking <clears throat> folks here right now. Oh, yeah. The less truth. you talk, the better. It's the truth. Everything you know, doesn't have to be P.T. Barnum. It really doesn't. No. Yeah, uh, right. But what was your question? Well, I've seen that. People maybe in the U.S. don't understand how big Blur and Oasis were. I mean, they became huge yeah. bo- over, over here. But in England, I'm sure that's... Well, we had one big song over here, which is Song 2, which yeah. most people know as the Woohoo song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we still play it pretty much at every party, you know what I'm saying? So, But th- there's been talks that there was like some kind of uh, feud back in the day, and then having him on this album is uh, yeah, it's kind of so. like a peace treaty almost. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, How do you feel about that? Uh, well, we've been friends for, for years, so mm-hmm. it's not like a treaty. We, we did that over a drink like six, seven years ago. So mm-hmm. that's he wanted. He really, really loved. Had always loved gorillas, and we just wanted to be on the on on, on a tune. And you know, this record wasn't a kind of a sort of natural fit for for Noel Gallagher, really. Mm-hmm. If you think about it, mm-hmm. yeah, it was perfect. Uh, no, what? No, no. But the whole record wasn't wasn't oh, a natural no, no, fit no, no. at yeah, all. Yeah, and I was yeah, struggling yeah. to find a place where it would, you know, it wouldn't be just a, like a piecemeal kind mm-hmm. of. 
sort of no, quite feature. Feel, they didn't feel contrived. Like yeah, exactly. Trying to place exactly. Him in it. Yeah, yeah. 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 God, the power. He just <clears throat> fell in the pocket, man. Yeah. It yeah, just, and this felt right. and this tune is kind of like it's the it's right at the end of the album. It's it's after Benjamin Clementine sings this this ode to Hallelujah money. Hallelujah Ooh. money. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of like as the credits are running, the the song are after the actual story is finished. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. So the, the closing. Yeah, but, the closing, <laughs> thing. The closing okay. thing. but hopefully it's got some some sense of optimism about it, and uh, you know a simple, <coughs> me- a really simple message. One of my favorite co- uh, collaborations is um, a Mavis Staples, because you know we grew up with the Staples singers Staples. Mm-hmm. in my home as a child. That's what my mother and everybody yeah, rocked I, to. I, I, I had that as well. Yeah, yeah you had that. I love that we all have. That. Isn't that the beautiful yeah. thing that you know, what about music? The, yeah. the music is like. Yeah. The, Better than religion, exactly. with how it brings people together. Mm-hmm. Religion can be divisive. I, you know? I grew I grew up in in the east end of London, and at the end of my end of my uh, road, there was a Pentecostal church, mm-hmm. and I used to uh, get on my bicycle on a Sunday and go and listen to people singing, and I didn't feel like I could go in then, mm-hmm. but like twenty twenty five years later, I did a record called Everyday Robots, and I went back to 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 the church at the end of my road as a kid, and I went in there and I contacted them and they sang on my record and then I, I they, they they subsequently invited me to a convention uh, and I had a fantastic time mm. wow man and it was something that had been in me since a little kid you uh-huh. know what I mean and uh-huh. now through the door and I was in the room and it was beautiful that's how you know you evolved yeah uh, Pusha T maybe Staples were they in the room at the same time or no oh, okay. uh, separate times uh the track was created. Um, Let me out came out that that term, mm-hmm. and then it was like uh, wanted to create a dialogue between the youth of today mm-hmm. and our elders. Um, you say that we grew up with Mavis Staples, all of us. For me, that's literal because that's the first band that my uncle Hassan Khan pl- played in as a oh, basis. Wow. So oh. for me, it was it was it's kind of personal. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of, you know, like a Trojan horse slipping her in. Mm-hmm. But then putting her with somebody like Pusha T, who I I really respect what he does. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of drug rap, but I respect mm-hmm. what Pusha T does mm-hmm. and how, his perspective on it. Mm-hmm. And so I just thought, who better to put together on this soundscape and then have Dame, then have Damon tie it all in together. Mm-hmm. Again, with that from that Brit perspective, in contrast to this black American play. Yeah, and I hadn't written I hadn't written the lyrics. Uh, <coughs> well, I had the, the lyrics, had the melody. I uh, didn't have the the, the, the lyrics, and uh, and I'm always get get quite nervous when I'm when I'm working with with kind of older artists. Mm-hmm. Uh, Why? Be, well, because the language I use sometimes is slightly weird okay. and doesn't necessarily make sense, and sometimes. It's a bit jarring for if if you have personal beliefs. I mean, you know, I had that. I've had it twice with Dion Warwick that she <laughs> has. <laughs> Dion Warwick. Shout out to Dion Warwick. <laughs> yes. Uh, that that at the last minute, it's, it's 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 the lyrical content has kind of sort of prohibited us going any further. I mean, at least this time I did manage to sit down at the piano with her and play, which was quite nerve wracking. Actually, mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. don't normally get nervous, but. Having Dion Warwick sitting next to me and me playing, I thought I felt like a very, a very poor Burt Bacharach. So we so so so, so we, we decided to catch the train from New York to Chicago. Chicago yeah. And I spent the whole I had I spent the whole time in my little cabin, like, oh, is she gonna like this? Is this gonna work? Is this is this too much? But you know, trying to find that, that's the beautiful thing about gurus is finding that, finding that common ground. Mm-hmm. And that this, it can be really, really fine sometimes, but it's golden, you know, yeah. when you get in there. And as soon as, as soon as I met her, she was just such a sweetheart she's, and she's, so, she's got such a young spirit yeah, about she's her. she's really ready you know, to, fine. to How did she react to Pusha T's verses though? And what he was saying. Was, were they on there yet? Oh, I, I think we probably didn't hadn't put them on there we just just mm, in case there was any. Yeah, we didn't want to you know, frighten sometimes, her. Sometimes <laughs> we don't, <laughs> you know sometimes I mean? we don't like, necessarily give the whole picture away straight just, away. Yeah, yeah, we just wanted to let her 
do her thing freely without any influence. Yeah. Let me out. Let's hear a little bit of that. We'll come back. The gorillas are here. 888-742-3345. Twilight Tone, Pasta News, Stay Like Soul. Everybody's here. You want to talk to them? Open up these phone lines. Yeah. It's gone. Who is left to save us? We mourn. I'm praying for my name. <laughs> Let's just rock out to this for a second. I'm going to take some phone calls if y'all don't mind. Uh, Sway in the morning, Shade 4 or 5. Uh, you got to get this project, Humans. It's out tomorrow. Uh, we got Chris from Texas on the line. Chris, what up, baby? Hey, good morning, everybody. How you doing? Doing okay, man. What'd you like to say? Go ahead. Man, such a big fan of uh, Damon Albarn and, and the whole theme behind the gorillas. You have no idea how much they've gotten me through. I, I've skateboarded for 10 years of my life just jamming to the gorillas, man. The, the the voice of 2D, man, it's just, it's beautiful. It can get you, you through anything. The Gorillas, man, the best vibe in the world. Thanks, man. Wow. Man, well, no you, idea, man. Man. you should be happy um, because they, they got a new album coming out. Gorillas doing a new TV. Are you doing a series, too? A, a TV series? Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, I mean, okay. all of that stuff. I mean, that's networks and politics and, you know. Okay. But but you have an app that they could. We've got we got a lot of a lot, lot of apps. apps. Yeah, yeah, a lot of apps, man. Live live through the apps, baby. You got to see what he looks like animated here live in person. I didn't even know this was possible. <laughs> All right, we got Cal from Connecticut. What up, hey, Cal? Cal? What's up? Hey, how's it going, guys? Doing Peace okay. Good. Yeah, Damon. I I really wanted to say like just the gorillas in general. Like what solidified my belief that you guys are true artists is when you collaborated with MF Doom on November is coming. Yeah. That song like changed how I thought about music itself. Like oh. MF Doom is just one of my favorites and the way you guys collaborated, man, I just that was just amazing. I still he's, listen to that song almost a, on the weekly. Nice. I mean it uh, that means a lot to me. I mean he's a really interesting artist. He's not he's not he's, he's not, an artist. He truly he really is, is yeah, an yeah, artist, yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to go to Ohio. Um, Josh, what up? Hey, Josh. What up? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Man, Good morning my brother. I got to say this. I got to say this. Gorillas have been one of my favorite groups of all time since I was 15. I mean, I remember you guys going Clint Eastwood, mm. and then you guys came out with Stylo, and that Stylo was, oh, man, that Bobby was Warmack. awesome. Like, yeah, you I guys are him. amazing, and I mm. I just want to say that you guys have done an amazing job as you know as far as being artists and what Thank you guys you. have done for me as you know as you know understanding music even better. You guys are amazing. Thank you Thank so much. You. Well, Thank you. What's up, man? Damn, man. Hey, y'all just getting sucked off all morning here, man. Okay. Uh, okay we got, Jesus. Do we have a question here? All right, we got Ebger. Oh, Ebger is on the line. Good morning, Ebger. Go ahead, man. He's huh? a, yeah, go ahead, man. <laughs> what you want yeah, to say? Man, uh, I've been a fan of you guys. Good morning, everybody, first of all. Good morning. Um, I've been a fan of you guys since Holy I was like 12 years old, man. Four. You guys, you know, shaped a lot of, you know, my years, you know. Always ever had a problem. Always had to go to Gorillas. You oh. guys are, you know, amazing. Wow. Can't wait to see if you guys come to New York. Yeah, you know, we're, we're coming New back. York. We're going to be everywhere in the awesome in America. All right. That's okay. That's a promise. Uh, Mike from San Diego. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> With that great hey, question, on, Mike. Mike. <laughs> yeah, what's Peace, up, my brother? Man. What's up? Hey, now I just want to say, man, what you guys are doing for music is incredible right now because that last track with Pusha T on there, man. If I if I heard that on the radio or or so much stuff like that on the radio every day, man, I wouldn't turn the radio off. But oh, like y'all said, all that all that shit blending in that trap music and all Twenty One Savage. No disrespect to them young guys. But man, I'm not with that hip hop. I'm with the old hip hop and shit that sound like what y'all doing right now. So keep it up, man. Nice. Thanks. I appreciate you, man. So soft, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we got a lot more callers, but I kind of know what they're going to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys will be playing in New York September 15th through the 17th. The Human um, Tour starts July 8th in the States um, yeah. in Chicago. But go online to find out more dates. You know, uh, we're going to uh, world premiere an exclusive uh, called Moments. Um, that's featuring De La Soul. Um, you guys were really like um, adamant about us playing this. Why? Uh, do, do well, you... because it's just at being in the zygots of the now, being right here, being present. I think what's going on in pop culture and, and, and just uh, social uh, settings is people are not living the moment. They're, they're so busy trying to document it. Mm. It's, and it's kind of a testimony what he was saying about auto-tune. It's like, 
man, where's the humanity and all that? But where do we go? The, 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 the point is, where do we go from here? Exactly. Where, what yeah. happens next? That, yeah. Because if, we, if this is what we're relying on, and, you know, emotionally, kids are like, that their phone is, is as important as their parents. Uh, oh, shit. No, yeah. the phone is their parents. That's I mean, exactly like the TV is. or whatever, the movies, their mm. dad, the radios, their <laughs> mother. You know, uh -huh. the phone is like the whole family. And if you take it away from you, you see the emotional response and connection to that. So which is why there's a Z at the end of humans. Yeah. Mm. What are we evolving or devolving into? Mm. John, you're really deep, man. You I try, <laughs> man. I, you know, whenever, you know. I didn't know that about you, man. That's, well. Oh, no, he's definitely he's different. Right? He's yeah. different. Well, the he's music. Different. He's different. He's uh, well, the music, I mean, the, the art, everybody says art imitates life or life imitates art. I disagree with that testimony. It's like life is inspired by art and art inspires life. Mm. And if you're not living life, how are you creating art? Yeah. I love it, man. Um, the gorillas are here. Pastor News is here. What up? Pass, uh, we're gonna try play. Work, try and work out what Poss is saying in this. Okay. <laughs> well, before oh we, before, 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 before we play it, before it's we even play it, because we, we, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna end, we're gonna end with that song. But, but we have a, a policy here, Damon, like for MCs. You know that any time they come into this room, we don't just play their music. You gotta earn the play, and uh, you asked for that. I, 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 you know. <laughs> He's I thought right. maybe if Wonder dropped a beat that we could kind of all Do see something. what happens. <laughs> all right. Uh, see it. what happens. I'm not a hyena. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. A I hyena. thought maybe all three, you know, uh, I'll, I'll something. we could do something. I mean, I, I'm, my mind my, my might be singing bass. Okay. I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I know. Well, I'll, I'll I get might juggle. Going. No, no. So, you know, let's stay in the moment. Yeah, so, you know, no pun intended. Yeah. Yo, Wonder, go ahead. Yeah, right. Sway the Morning Shade 4-5. Uh, uh, uh. Gorillas in here, humans, that's the name of the project. I don't know, Damon, maybe you can sing a riff something. Okay. 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 And Posh, you come in with a verse after that. Uh, yeah. Uh, you want to jump in the rhyme too, boy. Uh, Someone do Plug something. one. Cool it in, cool it suave. We put it down to the paint. We ain't doing this to like the shame. You jump in, Tone. Okay. Rock it. All right, let's go, man. Let's go, Tone. You know what this is. <laughs> One time, sunshine, moonlight. Watch me, no strife. Tone, T1, T O N E. We take many steps to get E. Sanctuary. <laughs> Uh, Encyclopedia Library. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's got talent. <laughs> you, that boy got talent. Keep it going. Here's the no, uh, hook. hook. Here's the hook. I ain't no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, give it up for the gorillas. Hey, 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 hey. Nah, I'm just staying in the moment. That was dope, man. That was dope, man. Yo. No. No, 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 no. Thank you, <laughs> he started spelling out his name, man. That boy got bars. <laughs> T to the O to the N to the Y. Oh, Your pa said, I'm not a hyena. <laughs> no, Gentlemen, oh I just want to thank you for your consistent contribution. You know, and as you can see, the way all you have affected and impacted lives no, no, in a you. positive way and uh, continue success. Thank and we'd we'll love man. to have y'all back on the show just right, to sure. sit up and talk. Yeah, for real. You know, we can always promote whatever. Mm. This, this this platform is your platform. Thank you. But thank just you. to hear so this generous. conversation, really, we, I think we all enjoyed it. So thank you mm -hmm. for coming by. All right. Thank, thank, thank you. Absolutely. It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shade 45. Kill <laughs>